In tutor the parquet design uh, for the two variable example that we give in the earlier video for temperature and humidity, we can run this experiment as um, so minus both low level of B uh, and A and then high level of A plus indicating the plus is the high level of A and low level of B and then we can have low level of A and then high level of A, and then like that. So these are the four uh, combinations we have seen uh, to complete one replication. So I'm gonna just type that some kind of ID. The book says run number, which is which I think wrong. It should say ID, not run number, uh, because your run number should be randomized. So that's. Uh, that is the arrangement of treatment combination so let's write that treatment combination so the way it is written for both low level of a it is the control so it is uh, one and within parentheses and then high level of a is written as a and high level of b written as b and both high a and b written as a b like that uh, we have uh, if we want to create uh, more um, variables uh, more um, say we have uh, four variables three variables five six ten variables how do we calculate how do you make sure that we are uh, taking all the treatment combination the easiest way there is a systematic way of doing this thing the easiest way we can do we can simply add so this is for the two variables we can just simply let me just copy another page so I would say this is 2 to the power 2 I'm gonna just type 2 underscore 2 meaning that 2 to the power 2 this one 2 to the power 3 meaning that we got three factors two level each so let's copy this to this new page and then let me show you how to create one more variable and make sure that all treatment combination are done properly so what are you gonna do is add one uh, very column here and we can name that column as C factor C so you remember we have the treatment combination for A and B all possible treatment combination here and then with that we can add low level of C and then low high level of C so what you can do is basically just copy that treatment combination all treatment combination of a B and then add high level of C we added low level of C now we got eight um, we need eight runs to complete uh, one full replication if we have three variables now we don't have to change the treatment combination we can just just have to get something new all the new treatment combinations we have so we got C all it's gonna be associated with C so C only and then a C interaction here a high C high and then here B high C high and here a B C all of them high similarly if we want to create say four variables I'm gonna say 2 to the power 4 four factors or four variables with two level each all I need just copy control a control C go here control V so I paste it here so what I need is basically insert one uh, column for the factor D and here I know that I have all combination of A B C D sorry A B C all treatment combination possible here so all I can do with all this treatment combination of A B C I can add low D low 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 and high 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 so here I can just simply copy and paste so what I'm doing is we know that we have all possible combination of A B C and then I'm running uh, with all possible combination of A uh, with low D and all combination of ABC with sorry all combination of ABC with low D and then all combination of ABC with high D so now I know that I got 
all combination of a b c d now everything else is here as usual before nothing has changed here now i got this all of this stuff will come with d so that's d that's a d that's b d that's a b d that is c d that is a c d this one is b c d so it's a b c d for um uh, four-way interaction so this way we can expand and expand uh, the way um, our treatment combination and this way um, we can ensure that there is no treatment combination is left out the one of the advantage of this design is um, the reason why uh, we use two to the k design at the beginning is to uh, run a lot of variables at a time when we don't know which one would be significant so let's say we got a b c d e f g a bunch of different variables and we are trying to see whether that affects some response now at the beginning we don't know which one is going to be significant which one is not so the biggest advantage of coding the design like this is to if one of the variable is not significant for example, let's create one more page here, say um, insignificant, whatever, um, insignificant, I don't know how to name it, but what I'm trying to say here is, if we have one of the variable is not significant, let's pick one of the one randomly, let's say C is not significant delete that let's see what happened you will see that with C deleted will have exactly two replication for each of these treatment combinations you will have two controls two A two B's two A B like that so we are not really losing any data points so if one of the variable is not significant we just get uh, one full Two full replication of the replication increases so let's double check that so this is a good b good this is a b that's good there is no c we deleted that so now this thing is becomes this is control or low level of a b and d so that's control and this one is a again this one is b it's an a b this one is d that's a d that's bd that one is a b d that's good there is no c so it's only d and then a d and this one is b d this one is a b d you can see each of this testament combination i have two controls two a's two b high two d high and you will see that everything else is twice so the advantage of running the experiment in this systematic manner is once we delete one variable we basically add uh, the replication so it's basically increase the power of the experiment let's say in the next run um, let's create another one if it's too insignificant i'll just name that as two control a control c uh, let's say i found that variable a is insignificant delete that let's see what we find so if variable a is insignificant there is no a so that's gonna be basically the control like that and then that's b that's good there is no a b so just b here and that's control that is again control and that's b there is no a so that's b d is good there is no a so that's only d b d that's good b d as d there is no a so that's only d and this one is b d and then b d you'll see that we have four replication now each of these we have four controls four b high four d high and then four uh, bd interaction so the biggest advantage of coding the way we code the experiments the treatment combination in case if one variable is not significant none of the data is wasted it's basically adding replication meaning that it's going to add the power of your uh, study so that is the basic um, to the uh, two to the pure k uh, layout uh, design layout